Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and today we're gonna to be doing some fridge organizing. Last week on my channel we tackled the pantry and now it's looking like a Pinterest organized dream and the fridge is not. So we have a lot of work to do. I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can better organize your fridge as well. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm Kristen, interior designer and home decor expert. I'm sharing all of my designer tips and tricks with you to help transform your house into the home of your dreams through DIY projects, affordable home decor, styling tips, and home organization. If I can do it, you can too. Let's make our homes look and feel their best. Now, first step to any organizing project is clearing out the space completely. So I'm taking out all the food, really every single thing in the fridge, laying it out on top of my countertop so we can see what we're working with. Since your food will be sitting out, you have to kind of start and finish this project as quick as you can. The fridge is all cleared out. Now it's looking clean and empty. I'm gonna start bringing in my containers and organizers so we can figure out a layout. I love organizing my fridge with clear bins, organizers, and containers. I feel like it really highlights all the food well and makes your fridge look a little less busy. I laid out my organizers so that I have at least two main shelves. First is the beverage shelf, something that I'll reach at every day, and this shelf above, which I'll have produce and cut fruit and things that you can just grab at really easily. I love these two bins here. I've always had the smaller version, but I recently found this larger bin that holds water bottles. That way everything stays together. You can stack everything up and take advantage of that space. And the more you use, the more they kind of roll forward like a vending machine. So they're really cool. And right beside it in the smaller version, I'm gonna stack it up with our sparkling water. We love flavored sparkling water. So this is something we always have in the fridge. And I just love this setup. To extend the beverage shelf even further, I'm using these super cool can and bottle stackers. I found these at Home Goods, and they just make it look like your cans and bottles are floating off of the shelf. They're really cool. You can kind of add to them and create custom lengths. So I'm putting a different kind of sparkling water on these little stackers. They pretty much work the exact same as the containers, but you really get this minimal floating effect. The bottle stackers are just a little bit larger and they have this nice tilt to them so you can put them down on the glass and your bottle kind of just floats right on top. It keeps everything off of that glass and makes it look so amazing. Now, as I mentioned, I wanna make this next shelf up a little grab and go shelf. So it's gonna have everything that I use pretty much daily. First, I'm putting in some eggs into my clear organizer. This organizer has two extra spaces so that if you ever have another carton of eggs, you can kind of combine them and fit them all into one space. I think organizing is all about keeping things tidy, but also making them very visual. And I think this clear container just really does that. I'm also adding a little label on top just to show the expiry date since we're getting rid of the other packaging. We also have two bags of hard boiled eggs and I feel like every time that bag is slightly open in the fridge, it completely stinks up everything. So I'm putting them away in one glass container with a very tight sealed lid and labeling the top with the expiry date. I think when the food in your fridge looks a little bit more appealing, it actually helps you eat healthier. So it would make you choose those eggs, choose that fruit over some packaged convenient grab and go snack. I'm also gonna be doing the same thing 
thing to the berries and I found such a great organizer for these berries. It allows you to wash all your berries but keep them dry. This container has like this little strainer effect so that your fruit stays fresh on top and all the water from the wash kind of falls to the bottom and that means you don't have wet squishy fruit. So I'm doing this with my blueberries and I'm cutting up all my strawberries. So again, it's appealing to eat. It's something that you can grab out of the fridge and all the fruit just stays fresh longer. We love eating asparagus at dinner. So I'm gonna keep this fresh for longer as well by cutting off the ends, filling a jar with about an inch of water at the bottom and putting my asparagus in. Just like flowers, this is gonna keep this vegetable lasting longer and you can keep it in your fridge just like that. I would suggest doing all of this food prep and organizing the day you go grocery shopping. That way you can just put away everything that you have and you're ready for the week. So I found these really cool stackable slim organizers that I can put all of my vegetables in like celery and zucchini and even salad. So I'm cutting everything down to size so it's ready to eat. These containers do not have that strainer effect. So for vegetables like this, I'm laying down a piece of paper towel that will collect all of the water from the wash so that way my vegetables aren't staying wet if there's any moisture that collects in the container it will go straight to that paper towel I also picked up these really cute stackable containers with an open front and I thought they would be great again for fruit and vegetables and things you just want to be able to grab at in the fridge I'm washing and prepping all of these cotton candy grapes. I don't know if you guys have ever tried those, but they are amazing. Kind of crazy that they taste like cotton candy and laying out the top with tomatoes. Again, I have that paper towel liner inside to collect any moisture so it will keep my fruit fresh. I'm bringing all of my containers to the front of the fridge so that there's room behind for any extras. Right now I don't have any extras, but if the time comes where there's another grocery shop, I can put things behind my neat containers. Now, not everything can be out on display, prepped and ready to go. So all of my extras are going down below in the fruit and veggie drawers. I love that this fridge has this nice long drawer. This is called the glide and serve drawer. And I think it's more for platters and stuff like that. But because it's the lowest thing in the fridge, I'm using it for all the meat and cheese. That way, if there's any leaks or anything like that, it's not leaking down into the other shelves. I think every fridge could use a Lazy Susan. I think it's a great way of kind of containing all of your smaller products, but having them very accessible. So I'm putting all of my condiments into one and that way I can just turn it around to access everything I need. I think the last finishing touch to every organizing job is just facing all of your products. Grocery stores do this all the time. You just turn the labels all the exact same way so everything lines up and it makes it look like you're shopping at a grocery store. All right, I'm all done organizing. It feels so good. Let's go ahead and check out what the inside of the fridge looks like now.
that the fridge is organized, the pantry's organized, everything is just looking and feeling so much better. So I hope this video gave you some ideas that you can use in your fridge, and I hope it gave you the motivation to get started and tackle this organization project. Let me know down below in the comments if you've organized your fridge recently, or if this is something that you need to tackle next. If you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. I have a huge makeover project coming up next, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have my notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!